life processes. So, the process that helps the organism to maintain and repair the bodies are called as life processes. Do you know, all the living things are made up of cells. Cells are made up of molecules. To keep a cell alive, it needs to be maintained well and repaired from time to time. For this repairing and maintenance, two things has to be done. First is supply of new molecules and the second is removal of waste and unwanted material from the cells. These two tasks are achieved by life processes. In this chapter, we will learn about four important life processes. Nutrition, Respiration, Transportation and Excretion. Nutrition Nutrition is a life process in which food is obtained by the organism and converted to simpler molecules that is nutrients. Respiration In this process, organisms obtain oxygen from the surrounding and release carbon dioxide from the body. Respiration also releases energy from the food molecules like glucose. Transportation The life process helps in the transport of material like glucose, oxygen and toxic waste in the body. Cells use this material for production of energy and to make new complex molecules. Production of toxic waste like carbon dioxide, urea, uric acid in cellular activities. Excretion Excretion is the life process in which living organisms excrete the toxic material out of the cell by the help of transport system. Autotropic nutrition in plants Plants prepare their food by using simple inorganic materials like water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. So, this process is called as photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means making or preparing food. Now let us see the definition of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which phototrops converts light energy into chemical energy which is later used to fuel cellular activities. Photosynthesis takes place inside the leaf. But exactly where does it take place? If we look at the cross section of any leaf under a microscope, we would be able to see this type of green structure. These are the chloroplasts. These are the structures in which photosynthesis takes place. Now, let us see how do plants get the raw materials from. Plants get the carbon dioxide through stomata. Stomata are the tiny pores present on the underside of the leaf. Steps of photosynthesis First step is activation of chlorophyll molecule by sunlight. Step 2 is splitting of water molecule by the light activated chlorophyll. This process is called photolysis. Step 3. Carbon dioxide reacts with hydrogen produces in step 2 and forms glucose. Plants also need nitrogen to make proteins to build up their bodies. Nutrition in human being Digestion in mouth The food inside the mouth is made into a paste by the action of teeth and saliva. Saliva is the fluid that makes the food soft and wet. Saliva has an enzyme called as salivary amylase. It digests the starch partially and converts into simple sugars. The food is well chewed in the mouth and it passes down into the stomach through esophagus. This rhythmic contraction in the esophagus pushes the food down into the stomach. These rhythmic contractions are called as peristaltic movements. Digestion in stomach. This is a stomach. There is a hollow muscular organ, gastric gland, present in the walls of stomach. They produce gastric juice. The gastric juice has different compounds in it. They help the stomach in the process of digestion. Let us see different components of gastric juice. Gastric juice has pepsin, HCL in it. Pepsin is a digestive enzyme which digests the protein. HCL HCL is an acid that kills bacteria that enters into the stomach along with food. HCL also makes the pH of stomach acidic because 
proteins need acidic medium for digestion. Mucus Mucus protects the walls of the stomach from the action of hydrochloric acid. Small intestine Systematically breaks food down, absorbs nutrients. Extract spotto Moves food along the gastrointestinal tract. Many organisms need oxygen for respiration. If the respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen, it is called as aerobic respiration. Some organisms don't need oxygen for the respiration. This type of respiration is called as anaerobic respiration. Less ATP are released during anaerobic respiration compared to aerobic respiration. The energy released in aerobic respiration is greater than the energy released in anaerobic respiration. But the process of aerobic respiration continues. Supply of oxygen is needed. But how do aerobic organisms get the continuous supply of oxygen? It is done by breathing. So, breathing is the process of absorbing oxygen from the atmosphere. Transportation Transportation is an important life process. Materials required for the nutrition, respiration and excretion are supplied by the transport system. Human circulatory system It consists of three parts, heart, blood vessels and blood. External features of heart The size of our heart is equivalent to the size of our feast. Heart is made up of cardiac muscle. Functions of heart are It collects the deoxygenated blood from the body parts and sends it to the lungs. This is done by the right side chambers of heart. It has to collect the oxygenated blood from the lungs and supply it to the body part. This is done by the left side chambers of heart. Blood vessels have three types, arteries, vents and capillaries. Arteries, they carry oxygenated blood from the heart to body parts. They have thick walls. There are no wells present inside. Vents Vents carry deoxygenated blood from body part to heart. Vents have wells that allow the flow of blood in only one direction. The blood pressure is low in vents. Blood capillaries To supply the material to cells, arteries split into thin fine tubules called capillaries. These capillaries join together to form the vents. Human excretory system Cells while carrying out the activities, they produce toxic nitrogenous substances like urea and uric acid. These compounds are to be eliminated from our body. This job is done by the excretory system. Human excretory system has two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder and one urethra in it. Kidneys have tiny filtering units called as nephrons. Nephrons are the structural and functional units of the kidney. They filter the waste from the blood. Each nephron has a duct of capillaries called glomerulus and cup-like structure called as Bowman's capsule. Nephrons filter the blood and remove the waste like urea, uric acid and creatinine etc. Useful materials like glucose Amino acids and salts also get filtered in the Bowman's capsule. But later, these useful materials get reabsorbed back into the blood circulatory system. Filtered waste along with water is called as urine. It enters the urinary bladder through ureters. Once the bladder is full, it triggers the sensation of urination. When we relax the muscle of the urinary bladder, then the urine flows out through the urethra. Do like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.